Hi guys! Welcome back to the Nail Point channel. My name is Kim and in today's video, I want to start off by saying thank you subscribers. You guys are awesome. So I am so grateful I have reached the 1,000 subscribers mark. To gain 1,000 subscribers is nothing to brag about compared to other YouTubers. But the feeling is quite incredible. Very, very, very excited. It sure was not an easy road and I am so grateful for those that subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on this journey. Um, I am so happy with the progress of the videos that I've made recently and um, thanks guy. You guys are awesome and you guys mean everything, everything to me. And please, 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 if you haven't done so, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below for more nail tutorials and videos. And for today's tutorial, I will be showing you how I do floral gel nail art on sheer black nails. Hi guys! Welcome back to the Nail Point channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I do Blooming Gel's full nail art on sheer black nails. My choice of colors today are a bit gloomy and gothic, but a little raw. I love how it all came out at the end. You can purchase your very own sheer gel of colors. Since I don't have any, I'm going to prepare my very own sheer gel polish. So I am mixing three drops of Curious Guy non-white top coat with one drop of New Revolution Blackout. If you're going to use my method, make sure you mix very well. Often time, I only need to apply one coat of my sheer gel polish. Depending on your preference, you can apply two to even three coats of sheer gel polish to get your desired shades. After curing the sheer black nails, I applied a layer of ONS Airbrush Returns to the full nail and I left it uncured. Using a detailed brush, I began making a few abstract petals using my white Jolivia gel polish onto the wet surface. You will notice that the design and the petals will slowly bloom and expand. The longer you wait to cure, the wider and the bigger the petals. I do notice that the ONS airbrush returns has a thicker consistency compared to other blooming gels. Leave some room between each flowers and allow them to bloom. I also like to overlap the flower petals, making it more natural and realistic looking. I continue filling up my nail with the flowers. Of course, you don't have to worry about your petals not looking perfect. The more wonky and obscure it is, the more natural looking your flowers will be. I find this technique very easy and very quick to do. When drawing these flowers, I always start with the dot as a guidance. It helps give me a visual of where my center is, and everything just pretty much flow after that. After I finished laying down my flowers, I waited an extra 10 seconds for the rest of the flowers to bloom. Once I'm satisfied with the final look, I cure the nail in my lamp for a full 60 seconds. For the following nail, I am painting the clear airbrush returns to the bottom half section of the nail and to the one-third top portion of the nail and leave uncured. The idea behind this technique is the design only blooms wherever there is blooming gels and this also gives me a negative space nail design. Taking the white gel polish from Jolivia, with my detailed art brush, I am drawing my design into the wet blooming gel and allow the product to settle and bloom. With the same procedure, I always start laying down my flowers with a dot to indicate the center of the flower. I visualize an imaginary circle outside the dot. For each petal, I made two strokes. It looks a bit sloppy, but once it blooms, it will all come together very nicely. It is such a fun technique and you can create endless designs. Stick around as I'll be showing you how all these flowers will come together in the end. And don't forget to like, share, and leave me a comment to let me know what you think of my tutorial. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more nails, tips, and tricks. 
Sometimes when I work too slow, my flowers seem to bloom too much. Sometimes way more than I like it to. But overall, Blooming Gel is a fun product to work with that requires very minimal skills. Give some time for colored gel to disperse for the blooming effect. Once you are satisfied with the desired look, cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Apply your favorite matte top coat, depending on your preference, but for this look, I am going to stick to the matte finish. Now my flowers are finally coming together. It actually looks like real flowers. Drawing real flowers could take hours and sometimes clients just don't have the patience to sit for so long. I love how the blooming gel leaves me with this three-dimensional after effect with depth and even shading. Use the tip of the brush to paint the lines. Make sure your gel paint isn't too runny. If it is runny, you can try flash curing and continue painting. I am using gel paint from Vin Chen collection. I really like this gel paint because it has a non-tacky finish, which is very good on my end because I don't like to top coat after I do my lines. For the following nail, I am using Vin Chan Black Gel Paint to outline and frame my negative space nail with Gelish Harmony Liner Brush. I really like Vin Chan Black Gel Paint. It also leaves a non-tacky finish, which I love because I do not like to top coat my line work at all. It is a very pigmented gel paint, but not as pigmented as I would like. I do find myself going over my lines several times to get a better coverage. Or perhaps I still need to break it in since it's still a brand new bottle. After framing this nail, I'm going to apply a layer of matte finish and cure. I will continue outlining my flower petals with some white linings to give depth and contrast to this design. The design looks fine without the white outlines, but I think it will only look better and more dramatic if you take it up a notch. I really love the positive space and negative space working together to achieve a balance on this composition. This is starting to look fabulous. Oftentimes, when I do my lines, I only use about 15% of my brush. So basically just the tip. I find myself having more control of my lines that way. I have people asking me questions like, what brushes do I use for my art? When choosing your brush, ask yourself what are you going to paint? Professional nail artists oftentimes have more than one brushes for their nail art. As for me, I have tons. My all-time favorite brushes are still the Jolish Harmony liner brushes. They are crafted with the finest Kalinsky hair and I have not come across anything better. So I'm going to dress up my floral nails with some bling. This is optional. Since this design is quite busy, I think I'm only going to dress up each flower with a crystal right at the center. What do you think? If you're going to recreate this design, please tag me on my social media platform so I could see your work. I would love to see your recreation. And for the last design, to complete my gloomy gothic floral nail set, I am going to finish up the rest of the nails with some deep V French. So guys, I did mention about using only 15% of the tip of the brush for line work. But when doing French or drawing thicker lines, 
I do use the body of the brush quite often to fill in the paint and get a smoother finish. So guys, it's the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.